so before doing my first hackathon these are the same doubts which i was also having and it was obvious to make a video to clear your doubts also because after doing my first hackathon these doubts are cleared and many of our friends feel like they don't know uh, really programming and they could not actually perform they could not actually talk with the team and they could not actually perform in a hackathon and why there is a lot of participants in there there are a lot of teams participating in a hackathon and what is their value what they can do actually but don't think like that hackathon is really beneficial because in while while doing a hackathon you will be contacting with a team it's like working in a company with your team for a particular project or particular target like that so i would say you have to work on hackathons and you have to start doing it and now we will jump a computer screen and now we will see actually what are the main things or key points you have to focus or you have to keep in your mind to get more ideas and to complete the project of hackathon fast and to also find a team and also how to work while doing those things so without any further ado let's directly jump into our Let roll up to the party roll up roll up to the party roll up to the party roll up roll up See remember this one thing hackathons are not for professionals those are for beginners only so don't worry if you know programming or if you don't know programming you can do this you can do this if you have just good communication skills you can communicate with your team and you can just write some information about your project and submit it that's it so now see you we have come on to the page of hackathon it's a demo hackathon so I will now register in it and I will show you how to find your team and how to find what are the ideas what are the themes and what are the steps you have to follow when you register in a hackathon so first thing you have to see is what are the terms and conditions are you eligible for a hackathon what is the deadline what is the time of code are you free in the time in the period of time or not so first let's see those things so first august 13 to 15 as you can see on the screen august 13 to 15 is the time of code so in that duration you have to be free you have to give some time and you have to code on the particular project along with your team members so hackathon you know right hackathon is some project or a competition in simple words we can say it's a competition of teams where each and every one compete on a particular theme on a particular idea and the one will be selected who have the better idea and who whose idea is nice now here we can see the terms and conditions we can see the deadline over here how many participants are there and we can also see what who, for whom it's a beginner friendly hackathon it's based on education it's based on productivity so in the same page of a hackathon or for any hackathon if you go down or if you can scroll here then you can able to find what are the ideas or themes you have to work on you can see there are a lot of prizes like in the first place in the second place for the third place also for the best beginner hack and there are a lot of things there are a lot of uh, freebies which are given here and requirements what are the requirements and this is the one you have to see at last what is the thing you have to submit in a hackathon they will ask for a ppt submission they may ask for a video submission they may ask for a documentation also so they also will ask you source code also the prototype so let's see here what they have asked so here you can see requirements in order to be eligible for prizes you must submit a, your project to dev post means dev post is this site only and you have must contain that project must contain what your video video demo explaining your code explaining your idea explaining your project then later that it also contain the submission your submission should also contain the source code of yours what you have done in the period of your hackathon so must be publicly accessible publicly accessible means you have to post that code in github you have to publish in it so what is github if you don't know github then just comment down in the comment section i will just make a video of that then you can see the number of participants here the more that the participants the more will be the competition now let's see how the process goes for the registration make sure that you have login or sign up then click on join hackathon button when you click on join hackathon then you will be redirected to the registration page then you click here for like that you are looking for a teammates then you can type your skills your profile what are your what is your motivation regarding the hackathon then you can select the you are uh, you have been told from a friend or whatever then you have to click the sticks 
and you have to write better so that other team members will team up with you later on you can just after writing this you can just go and register after when you register your profile will be made and other persons who are other participants can also see your profile and also can team team up with you so if you want to team up with any other in this participants page you just scroll down after scrolling down you can see the other participants who are participating in this hackathon and you can just find if you need a front end developer then in the left side you can find them and you can make your hackathon so for a hackathon now what things you have to focus on and some tips and tricks see always in a hackathon focus on what is the judgment criteria there are some rules like your team must contain a woman then only your team must be prioritized otherwise they also say like you have you must have a good video presentation or they will also ask for working source code so focus on what are the judgment criteria and after a hackathon what are the outputs you have to bring on so you have to reach out or you have to make some new connections with new bees or not new bees some other people who are more skilled than you from whom you can learn or from whom from with whom you can make some projects in future also so you have to find some people like this after a hackathon so in a hackathon if you don't have any skills then don't worry you can just go and find out some people based on your ideas so I have already shown that how to find your team. So that's all for the hackathon. If you have not joined the Telegram group down below, then go and join that. And more content like this will be coming on open source GitHub, GSOC, and lot of the open source programs also. So stay tuned to this channel. Share with your friends if they also are confused with the hackathon. And that's it. Thanks for watching.